Hey guys, I'm Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I am a part-time reseller on both Poshmark and eBay as well as a few other platforms, but mainly those first two. Today, we're going to go over a what sold Wednesday. So my sales from Sunday, February 7th to Saturday, February 13th. It's going to be a super quick video because this was probably my worst week that I've had in quite some time, uh, maybe at least oh, over a year, even considering the pandemic. So I'm a little bit disappointed in that, but let's Let's just hop right into what sold and I will insert the pictures on this side this time and see how that goes. Okay, so on the 7th I had two sales, one Poshmark, one eBay, one of them I'm really salty about and I will tell you why. It is the Poshmark sale from this day. So I sold this Isabelle Marant silk blouse. It was green with kind of like this abstract print all over it. I got it for free on the real rail with some credits that I had and I listed it at 125 because it was Isabel Morant and I've never sold this brand before so I wanted to see what kind of offers would come in and I got an offer of $60. I thought about it for a little while since it was more than 50% off of my asking price but I decided to take it and run since I didn't pay anything for it and so my earnings would have been $48 but um, when the buyer received it, she opened a case stating that A, it wasn't the same color, and B, it had a tear. I showed both picture and video proof to Poshmark proving that the buyer's claims were both false and they still accepted the return, so that's on its way back to me and I am not too happy about it. Um, I showed multiple angles of where she claimed the tear was. I showed multiple uh, photos of the color in different lighting because I take pictures and video of everything before I send it out just to protect myself and so the buyers feel um, secure when they shop with me. And so I'm really disappointed in that sale. That's $48 that I am not gonna be able to count into my earnings for this week. Um, but anyway, let's move on. The other sale was on eBay and this was a lot of smushy mushies. They're like these squishy toys that were all the rage in the last couple years with kids. Obviously they came from Livy's personal collection and I did get a really sweet note with an offer on eBay and she said that she was going to use these for children. I assume she's a, maybe a teacher, um, children with anxiety. And so they'll use them kind of like stress balls and calm themselves down. So I thought that was really great, happy to accept her offer. I love when people send me notes. And so they sold with uh, shipping for $41.90. My cost is zero since they came from Liv's collection. And after fees and shipping, um, we're left with $25.70. So if you've watched my videos before, you know that um, when Livy makes a sale on eBay or something from her collection, her clothes, anything like that, I do split the profits in half with her so that she has a little spending money, a little saving money, and I get some money as well. On the 8th, I just had one sale and it was over on eBay. It was a Carhartt short sleeve t-shirt. It just had like a little tribal pattern on the front with the Carhartt name. And this sold for $22.95. I paid $1.16. I got it from the bins a couple months ago after I filmed the video in November. And after fees and shipping, I'm left with $15.65 in profit. On the 9th, I somehow managed three sales over on Poshmark. The first was this J. Crew silk color block um, tank top. It was pink. This was an offer to Likers. I had listed it, I believe at 20 cause it did have like a small faint stain and I sent out offers for 15 plus the $5 shipping. So I got $9 and 54 cents out of that. It was a donated item from a friend's mom who knows what I do. Again, tell people what you do. And so I got the whole profit of $9.54. The second sale was this pair of Rock Revival jeans. If you're not familiar with Rock Revival, I do get pretty good prices for mine, but this was a black pair and it didn't have too many um, embellishments on the back pockets, kind of like Miss Me jeans. That's what people look for with them. Um, they were the Celine straight and then black color. They did sell on an offer to Likers of $40. They took a year to sell. I sourced them in January of 2020. And after my cost, which was $5.88 and the Poshmark fees, I have a profit of $23.66. So not a bad profit, um, but they did take quite some time to sell. 
Last sale for the ninth was this pair of Nike's Bermuda shorts. They were women's and they were kind of like a sweatpant material with a drawstring waist. I got these from the bins. I think they are in the November haul. If so, I will link them in the cards above. I paid $1.12 for them. And these were a full price sale, which doesn't happen too often with me because I send out offers to likers quite frequently. And so they sold for $25 and after fees and my cost, I'm left with $18.88 in profit. And on the 10th and 11th, I had a big fat $0 day on both of those days. So that was a terrible way to spend the middle part of the week last week. And I'm not that happy about it. I've been sharing consistently every morning on Poshmark and cross listing to eBay. So it was kind of like a big letdown, but it is what it is. It happens sometimes. Got to move on. So on the 12th, I had one sale over on eBay. This was another item that I shared in my November bins haul here on my channel. I paid $1.12 for these. They are this pair of Burton Durable Goods um, shorts, very, very small size. They were an extra small. They're called the High Rise Joy Short and these sold for $15.90. It was an $11 offer plus the shipping, and after fees and shipping, I'm left with $10.64 in profit. And to end the week, I had three sales on the 13th, two eBay and one on Etsy, the rare Etsy sale. And so the first one we're gonna talk about is this pair of cool convertible hiking pants. So these are the type that have the little tabs sleeve but it's a leg version of the tab sleeve where you can roll them up and then um, secure them to your legs so they're not falling down all the time and I had these listed at $35 and this buyer on eBay kept sending me offers and we kind of went back and forth countering for a little while and then finally settled I think it was like a $21 offer and then with the shipping because she lived pretty far away it was $31.40 so my cost of goods was $5.59 and I'm left with $22.44 in profit. The second one was another eBay sale. It was a free people, we the free thermal. I actually showed this one on an Instagram story back when I had a 50% off coupon for my local savers. I got this for $3.24. I got a $15 offer on eBay. I believe I listed it at 25. That's normally where I start most of my free people and anthropology unless I know it's like a rare piece. With the shipping, the buyer paid $20.70. And after fees and shipping, I'm left with $14.28 in profit. The last sale is the Etsy sale. It was this box of vintage sugar plum ornaments. They were super cute. They had a couple, uh, there were a couple large ones and then a whole bunch of smaller ones and they had these beads that were stuck to them. A lot of the beads had since fallen off. I did make sure I noted that in the listing, but they did sell um, full price sale because it's Etsy. So the buyer paid $23.66. My cost was nothing. It was donated to me from a family member and I had them in my booth for a little while, but they didn't sell, so I moved them over to Etsy. After fees and shipping, I'm left with $17.13 in profit. Okay, so all in all, that's 10 sales across three platforms, four Poshmark, one Etsy, and the remaining five were on eBay. As we talked about earlier in the video, one of those is coming back to me, so I will just take a look at what the item looks like because hopefully the buyer is not trying to pull a fast one on me even though I'm pretty sure that's the case considering that I was able to prove that she was making a false claim. But anyways, um, the total sales was $296.31, so just not even quite um, the $300 mark. And after I take out that $60 sale from Poshmark, it's only $236.51 in sales. Um, very, very low, even for me as a part-time reseller. If you've seen my previous few weeks of videos, you know that this is not the norm for me. Um, it's hard not to get disappointed about it, but you have to just let it go sometimes. That's the nature of this type of business. But um, after all things are considered shipping and fees on all of the platforms, I'm left with $157.92. That is not including that Poshmark sale that is being returned to me. So not terrible. I could still definitely do something with that amount of money. And my average sale price for that week was $29.65.
Hopefully your sales were a lot better this week. Please let me know how they were in the comments below. I love to see people um, killing it out there and hustling. And uh, hopefully this coming week won't be as bad. It hasn't been terrible so far. Um, it's Wednesday right now that I'm filming this and getting it out to you. Um, but I will see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe for more content in the future. And I will see you next time. Bye.